Welcome back to another episode of I Didn't Know. Today, we're stepping back in time to explore the rich and fascinating world of the ancient Maya civilization. So buckle up, because we're about to unveil some truly intriguing secrets. Number 10. Divine Architects of Life In the cosmic blueprint of the Maya, the world sprang from the divine minds of the gods Tepeu and Gutamats. Resembling majestic birds adorned with blue and green feathers, they weave the tapestry of life amidst darkness. The gods experimented with humans, shaping them out of wet clay, often failing and restarting with events like a great flood. Their efforts culminated not with a solitary Adam and Eve, but a diverse group of eight four men and four women. This resonates with their deeply ingrained connection to nature and its multitude of beings. Number 9. Scribing the Past The ancient Maya had a penchant for storytelling which they enshrined in the world's first comprehensive writing system. Their language, carved onto monuments, stones, buildings, and pottery from the pre-classic period between 300 and 100 BC, was a complex puzzle of hundreds of hieroglyphs. Each syllable breathed life into a meaning, capturing details about their lifestyle, rituals, festivals, and monumental events. The enigmatic symbols were painstakingly deciphered by archaeologist Tatiana Proskuryakov in the 20th century, unveiling narratives about Mayan rulers, birth and death records, and the intriguing glyphs of the upended frog and toothache. Number 8. Birth of a King from a Turtle's Shell Steeped in myth and legend, the temple at Uxmal narrates the story of its creator, a dwarfish king born from a large turtle's shell to an oracle mother. Prophecies foretold his rise to power, sparking the ire of the incumbent king who assigned the dwarf three daunting tasks. Proving his worth, the dwarf conquered the challenges and eventually ascended to the throne upon the old king's demise. The temple, fondly known as the House of the Elderly Mother, stands as a timeless testament to the Dwarf King's extraordinary journey from prophecy to reality. Number 7. Little Guardians in the Forest The Maya were fervent believers in magic, entrusting the safety of their lands, crops, and animals to tiny sculptures called aluxes, molded from clay or wood. These diminutive figurines, tucked away in concealed corners of the forest, were thought to spring to life at night, serving as vigilant guardians. Invoking their protection required a ritual sacrifice of nine drops of the owner's blood and heartfelt prayers. However, the guardianship came with a caveat. After several years, the Aluxes had to be released, or the owner's family risked the wrath of these protective spirits. The belief and ritual were faithfully passed down through the generations. Number 6. Observers of the Skies The Maya, a civilization celebrated for its advanced knowledge, left an indelible mark with their celestial insights. They meticulously calculated a 365-day year with a minor discrepancy from our modern calendar. Using their Hob calendar and keen observations of the moon and other celestial bodies, they sculpted their architectural wonders. Believing that these heavenly bodies were divine messengers, the Maya placed great importance on their celestial advice. They attributed natural cycles to mankind's initial defiance of divine teachings and predicted a cycle of destruction every 52 years. Their astronomical wisdom continues to amaze us even today. Number 5. Chocolate Connoisseurs and Experiential Tasters The Maya were the original chocolate masters, with archaeological traces in Guatemala, demonstrating their ability to process cacao over 2,600 years ago. They favored a frothy concoction made from water, cacao, chili peppers, honey, cornmeal, and other ingredients, consumed mainly during rituals and celebrations. The Dresden Codex, a Mayan book, even features an image of Kawil, the god of sustenance, with a vessel full of cacao cow beans. The Maya also had a proclivity for intoxication, indulging in substances like balche, a psychedelic drink made of fermented honey. To avoid vomiting and to get drunk more quickly, they took drugs and alcohol rectally. Number 4. Beauty Innovators of the Ancient World the Maya were not just scholars of math and astronomy, but they were also pioneers in beauty enhancements. Their unique practices included skull reshaping, where heads of boys and girls were bound to modify their silhouettes, reflecting their social stature. Dental adornments were common, with jewels made from jade, pyrite, hematite, and other stones embedded into front teeth. On top of that, the Maya had stone structures resembling bathtubs for purification and relaxation, and heated stone constructs called sweat houses, remnants of which have been discovered in places like Guatemala and Joya de Seren in El Salvador. Number 3. Play or Perish The Maya Ball Game The Maya didn't just play for fun. 
their games bore severe consequences. Pits, a popular ball game, had players maneuver a heavy rubber ball without using their hands, with the goal of getting the ball through a stone ring. Players armored themselves with protective gear, but the stakes were still high. Losing the game could lead to human sacrifice. Far from a mere leisure activity, Pitts held ritualistic significance and served as a grim reminder of the fine line between entertainment and life or death situations in the Mayan culture. Number two, the guiding lights, Mayan priests and the king. Mayan priests held a pivotal role in society serving as conduits to the divine and perceived as the gods' messengers. Highly educated, they conducted religious ceremonies and offered insights on celestial phenomena. The only person eclipsing the priest's influence was the king, considered a god-appointed leader with supernatural abilities. The king was tasked with promoting peace and generating wealth. Below this echelon were high-ranking farmers and merchants, then the common populace, with slaves at the lowest strata. This hierarchy was a testament to the significant weight the Maya placed on spiritual and celestial connections. Number one, blood for the gods, the ritual of human sacrifice. One of the most chilling aspects of Mayan culture was their tradition of human sacrifice. Initially, only the nobility were sacrificed, believed to have purer blood, while lower classes executed the ritual. As time passed, victims comprised criminals and orphans. Diverse methods of sacrifice were employed, such as death by arrows or casting victims into pits. The rituals often unfolded in caves, with carvings on the walls depicting the ceremonies. The Maya didn't only offer blood, but sometimes entire body parts. Evidence of this can be seen in a Yaxchilan temple, with stone lintels depicting a god receiving the sacrificial blood, a gruesome tradition persisting until the civilization's collapse. And there you have it. We hope you found this journey through the secrets of the ancient Maya as captivating as we did. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave us a comment sharing your favorite fact and subscribe for more enlightening content. Thank you for watching.